Hey everybody, what's going on? It's John, you know, formerly JFM Development, now JFM Reviews. I had to change the channel name, um, but that's not the reason I'm making this video today. There's actually uh, some quite troubling things going on in the industry right now, and I feel a responsibility to let you guys all know what's going on, where we're at. Um, it's this is going to be kind of like a raw video excuse me uh for that um i'm not really sure where to start here um but we got a big problem we all need to come together like you guys probably heard all these advocacy videos going on right now and you know it's the truth like this is d-day guys like there's no there's no more ands, ifs, buts about it. There's no more sitting back behind your keyboard being like, oh yes, I will do this, I will do that. We need that. We do need people to respond to these call to actions. We do need people to call the White House. We need people to t contact their senators. But most importantly is we need people on the ground. Okay? We need everybody. If vaping has changed your life, it's got you quitting off smoking, you need to make an effort. We all do. We need to stop talking about it and do it. We need to start organizing together and getting along together. And all come together. And that starts, in my opinion, off at the vape shops. The vape shops are the bread and butter of this industry. It all starts with them. Because those are the people who put a lot of money behind all your local agencies that will actually help fight for vaping. Um, so make sure, make sure you guys are supporting your local vape shop. That is very important. Supporting your local vape shop ensures that not only do you boost money into your local economy, but you're also helping give money to those shops and in turn those shops use money set aside to help fight vape excuse me to help fight vape advocacy and that is really paramount right now so make sure you're supporting your shops very very important next thing is is in your shops you have the option to gather as a community a community of vapors because us vapors are all spread out through the United States. There's like 13 million of us, okay? We need to come together. We need to show our numbers. And we need to show that not only to the federal government, but the local government. And that's where we've been sleeping too. Like, Donald Trump made a tweet saying that he is in support of adult vapors. But that doesn't mean we should just back down, okay? We need to keep fighting. Because if you haven't noticed... While he said that, and everything might seem all nice and, and, and great, there has been states that has, has uh, held emergency meetings, such as New York. New York, they just banned flavors. No more flavors in New York. Okay, so no more retail flavors. It's unconstitutional. Okay, uh, Michigan is another one. Michigan just called an, an emergency hearing. And the governor banned all flavors. And what Michigan is also doing is they're also putting together a task force, okay? And if you get caught with a vape device, a certain amount of vape devices and a certain amount of juice, you get thrown in jail for six months. That's not American. What, what kind of country are we in right now where they just can think they can ban and tell us what we can and what we cannot put into our bodies? This is D-Day, guys. This is where we need to get serious. We need to stop this talking, oh, I, I, I did this one thing. I signed a petition once. That's great. We do need that. But we also need people to get out in the real world. We need everybody to take time out of their day and, and go to their vape shops. See what their vape shops are doing. And if you are a vape shop owner... Start rallying the troops. Put out flyers in your shop. In your shops, put out flyers to, for advocacy, to call the White House, to 
to set up a rally in your local area. Because if we're not fighting on both fronts, both local and federal, we're never going to get through this. And don't think for a second this isn't all on purpose. What they're trying to do right now is, and, and I've talked to a couple vape shop owners, and they, they've given me the lowdown. What they're doing right now is all in plan, okay? Right now they're trying to, to keep us busy while the PMTA process is going through, okay? So the PMTA process from the FDA just got, got shortened from uh, two years away to one year away. So now if you don't get your PMTA in and we're constantly fighting between all these states and federal local regulations, they think that we're not going to do the research that we need to get our PMTAs in. They think we're not going to do all the paperwork and it's all part of the big plan. So we need to fight and combat that. And remember, shops, businesses, we need everybody to stand up. Consumers, stand up. All these big companies, Smock, Kangratech, any big e-liquid company, let's get together and fight for this. Because let me tell you something, this is the end. This is it. And I'm not trying to sound doom and gloom. I'm trying to give it to you how it is. New York just went down. All these other states just went down. The President of the United States just said he's going to ban flavors. And that means the end of vaping. So what are you guys going to do about it? The big companies, yeah, I'm talking to you. What are you going to do about it? If America goes down, you go down. And that's all the companies. Because once you lose the American market, I'm guessing other countries will soon follow. And then you'll lose your market too. And it will and it'll just have a domino ripple effect. Just like this flavor ban is going state by state. It's going to happen. And you big companies, you're going to lose all your profits and all your money. So why don't you take some of all that money that we've given to you these past years for your products. Thank you for them, by the way. They are great. But you need to put more towards advocacy. We need to be putting millions towards advertising, to reversing all this negative information that has been put onto us. And that lies within big companies. Because unfortunately, the consumer can't handle it all. And in no other organization would you expect the consumer to fight and have all the lobbyists to do that. I did write a list. I just want to make sure I covered everything here. Oh yeah, calls to action. Uh, CASA has a lot of calls to action. If you're not a member of CASA, make sure you join CASA. Go to CASA.org. All links will be in the description. Make sure you go and join that. That will help you at least know what's going on in your local area and anything that you could possibly do to help. But don't just stop there. As I said, meet up with your vape shop. Tell your vape shop. Share this video to your vape shop. Just share this information to your vape shop. Let them know. Be like, hey, maybe we should get together and start a gathering at our vape shop to help fight this. Because this is our last stand, guys. If we don't do something now, it's going to be too late. And, you know, like, it's going to hurt a lot of us, even seasoned vapors, okay? It's going to hurt everybody. But it's really sad to think about the millions of people still smoking who are not going to get the opportunity now. And personally, me, this hits home. I don't know if I ever told you guys this on my channel or anybody else who's watching this, but my, my father, he personally died from smoking. And it wasn't a good thing to watch. He literally suffocated to death. I had to see that. Nobody deserves to see their father die like that. And especially considering we have an alternative like this that actually works about six years, smoke-free, just vaping right, right in front of your face right now. I feel a hell of a lot better. My health has improved. And you're going to tell me we don't have enough information? Vaping has been around for over a freaking decade. I'm pretty sure if there was some big problem, it would have shown itself by now. And the matter of fact that 
if this, all these issues had anything to do with vaping, it's kind of a surprise that it will only happen within the past couple of weeks. Makes you think, right? That's right. It does make you think. Why did that happen? Oh, wait. That's because it wasn't vaping at all. At least not nicotine vaping. At least not e-cigarettes. It's tainted THC cartridges, okay? And it was because there was an additive put into it known as vitamin E acetate. It's an oil base. It's oil soluble, not water soluble, which mixing the first thing you learn when you learn how to mix e-liquid and everybody knows this if you mix is you do not put oils in anything that you plan to vape. I don't know why they did that, but that's something that that's 101 right there. You don't do that. There's only four components in e-liquid, food grade flavorings, propylene glycol, which has been proven, vegetable glycerin, which has been proven, and pharmaceutical grade nicotine. Nicotine, of, there has been studies done on nicotine, on what it does to your body, and essentially it, it, it raises your blood pressure a little bit. It kind of has the similar effects as a cup of coffee. I mean, I'm no doctor, but I just figured I'd add that in there. So make sure you to Make sure you uh, take note to their calls of action. It's very important. Make sure you guys are getting up and doing something. This isn't just like every other time. This is, this is the real deal. Everybody needs to be doing something. Shop owners, man, hold meetings. Hold local meetings, okay? And sorry if this video is raw, I just needed to get something out there because this is so important, guys. So if you're a vape shop owner, please hold meetings with your customers. Put signs out. Be like, hey, next Friday or next Tuesday, we're holding a meeting to gather and talk about all what's going on and organize rallies. That's the only way we're going to do it. And if we can do it locally and we can start getting these things done locally, then we can go nationally we can organize nationally but first we have to start locally and then we can go national and then we can make this big ruckus so the national media will actually pay attention and notice because they can't deny us then when we have the numbers 13 million i think was the number of vapors in the united states that's a lot of people anyways guys i guess the bottom line to all this is Make sure you check out the links in the description, okay? There are going to be plenty of links, calls to action, CASA. Make sure you pay attention and do that. Make sure you call the White House. Make sure you, you keep their switchboards going, letting them know that this isn't acceptable. Tell them your vape story. Tell them how vaping has changed your life and whatever you can. Don't let them win, okay? The government right now is rather take money from us because of the master settlement agreement which is an agreement that they made with the tobacco companies which is feeding their local budgets big pharma is losing money because people aren't getting as sick anymore make sure you know the facts do the research and if you don't have the research or you're not the best speaker just do the best you can because doing nothing isn't good enough they're trying to kill us and, you know, that might sound eccentric, that might sound um, um, doom and gloom, but it's the truth. America, obviously, with all the stuff they, they've done up until this point, can clearly care less about your health. So, they would rather see you die, get sick, they just want your money, okay? So, as an American, as a vapor, you vape, you vote. What are you going to do about it? Get off your butt and advocate. Peace.